Hello, this is John Jordan from PocketGamer.biz. This is our weekly roundup of the news for the week ending the 12th of July 2013. It's been a pretty busy week for, for uh, PocketGamer.biz. We were down at the uh, Develop in Brighton conference, which is the big UK um, European uh, game conference for the summer. Um, lots of uh, things going on there. Keith was very busy going around and uh, kind of uh, writing up all the talks. It's kind of a good, I mean, it's kind of a busy time, busy three days, but it's, you get a good kind of cross section of what's going on, kind of particularly attitudes to game developers. Um, there's some pretty interesting ones. There was the uh, the um, uh, fire fireproof games who made the box obviously a massive success, a paid game, no in-app purchases, kind of quite going against the model. I did a talk with uh, with James Vaughan who uh, created the Plague Inc. Again, um, that was a 99 cent game. This one had in-app purchases as well. We were talking a bit more about the science science behind the uh, kind of the plague and kind of how you try and kill the world with diseases, kind of pleasant stuff. Um, another another kind of a well-known face in the industry, uh, Jason uh, Avant from um, uh, Boss Alien Games, who made CSR Racing. Um, he, he's always uh, kind of up, up, for a, up for a fight um, <laughs> uh, when it comes to kind of controversy. And he was uh, very much talking about the importance of free-to-play games, and he was actually slagging off what he calls cheapium games, which are games where you pay 99 cents for and then have in-app purchases, and he sees that as really um, kind of going against the grain. Um, Monetization was something I was looking at as well. I've, I'm kind of uh, coming up with, a, or trying to come up with a process of a, of a ranking free-to-play efficiencies or free-to-play, the aggressiveness of free-to-play kind of uh, economies in, in games. Um, you'll be reading a lot more about that, I hope, over the coming months. Um, but uh, aside from develop, there's lots of things happening in the world. Obviously, the uh, Apple's App Store was uh, five years old this week. Um, we had some interesting comment from Oscar Clark, who has been in the industry for a long time, very uh, outspoken, very thoughtful as well. Um, and he, not an Apple fanboy whatsoever, he was talking um, about how the, how the App Store has changed industry in, in many good ways, which um, he doesn't uh, always always uh, want to say that for Apple, so that was interesting. Um, and there was some, some interesting numbers actually coming out of, of um, some out of develop and some out of kind of the, just the wider industry this week. So we saw one which we've kind of seen before, uh, or a trend we've seen before. So Play First did did some surveys of its players, and it was seeing three times more, three times higher level of monetization on tablet players as as phone players, which is perhaps something we'd expect um, with just the demographics between those two platforms. Um, another quite interesting one from. Um, Amazon, which is actually the developed talk, where they said 16% of their of their um, of the lifetime value of a player that they were seeing was happening in the first day of download, which is I think surprising. I think people would expect to see a bit um, bit that happen a bit later in, in, in the process of uh, of, uh, of players. Um, and perhaps the most interesting thing again from Amazon, they were saying um, after someone's made a purchase in a game, within an hour, 50% of them make another purchase. So I guess that's kind of looking towards this kind of psychology, kind of what's going on with players, and at least half of them when they've spent some money to. Um, buy an item in a game or, 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 or increase their progression through the game. They've enjoyed that experience and they're, and they're, and they're happy to kind of pay again. So, um, so yeah, that was kind of uh, what happened uh, this week. Catch you next week.